Hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, Akos. Where you at? I am Akos. Today's video is a special collab. It is my first ever collaboration video. This collaboration is with Make sure you head over, subscribe, and check out her version of this video. So today, what we are actually doing, since I just revealed my big secret that I've been holding on the inside for so long, I am a product junkie, specifically a natural hair product junkie. Since I started my natural hair journey back in, when was this? Senior year of high school. So back in 2011, I started my natural hair journey. I have collected so much natural hair products. I've gone through, seen what works for me, still on the search for what works for me in certain aspects. And today we are collabing to come up with our top five list of natural hair products. I'm actually also really interested to see if we end up with the same products on our list. So stick around and just let's see what's on my list. If I didn't mention something and you would love to recommend something to me or something that is true, you stand by it, a product that you just absolutely love, make sure to drop it down in the comments below. Also, if there's a product that I mentioned that you just does not work for your hair, I find that so interesting to see how certain products work for some people but not for everyone. If it's something like that, drop your comment down below. Let me know how that reacted to your hair. Let's get started. I will definitely be looking down at my phone because I made a list and I wanna make sure that I actually remember the top five products that I will mention. This is in no particular order, just my top five products that I've used in the past few years that have become a staple in all of my all of my hair routines and everything like that. You will notice that I don't have any shampoos listed on this on this list. Oh, I'm forgetting how to speak. I don't have any shampoos listed on this list and I am realizing that I have yet to find a shampoo that has not that, that didn't feel like it was stripping my hair. I've yet to find that. So that is something that I definitely want you to comment down below if you have a shampoo recommendation for me. My hair is super thick and there are, I also believe it's protein sensitive. So there are certain products when I use it, I immediately feel like my hair just stripped of everything and it feels real brittle. So I've yet to find like a creamy shampoo that, that does me well. But let me go ahead and get started and stop rambling because I, I tend to do that. My go-to conditioner is the Aussie brand. Not specifically this one, I do love this one. It's actually almost out. This is the three minute uh, Miracle Curls brand. When they, when they started coming out with like a curl section for Aussie, I made sure to get all of their products. I actually love this. I think I have a tutorial, Tested Tuesday tutorial video of me testing out the Aussie brand but i absolutely love their conditioners one mainly because of the price point they also come in these huge containers this is probably the smallest one that i've ever gotten from them but i usually get the super big if i find a picture i'll post it in this video but i usually get the huge containers of it and it lasts forever it does its job it makes my hair feel soft after it's done it hasn't it hasn't turned bad on me yet <laughs> and I've been using it for a very long time so the Aussie brand is my go-to for conditioners I would love like a thicker creamier conditioner but this is what I'm working with for now number two the second thing on my list is drum roll please is the Shea Moisture Curl Enhanced and Smoothie. I don't know if people are still crazy about Shea Moisture as they used to be. I feel like they were a very big deal when they first came out. Then they had all the all the negative things that, that they have done <laughs> that caused people to turn their eyes away from them just a little bit. But um, I love this Curl Enhanced and Smoothie. Reason why I like it, I don't use it for wash and goes. I gave up on wash and goes for my 4C hair. People keep making wash and go seem like such a special thing and I always wanted to try it and I've tried it with that Curl Enhancer Smoothie. It just wasn't my thing. However, I love using that Curl Enhancer Smoothie 
four twist outs and braid outs. Reason why I like it, it doesn't make my hair feel stiff, but it holds the curl. Let me say that again. It doesn't make my hair feel stiff, but it holds the curl. That's a major thing for me. I hate it when gels make my hair feel crunchy and stiff, which is what I was getting from that Diva Curl, um, kind of like their super hold, oh, super stretch product that I did a review for before. It was making my hair feel crunchy a little bit. So I like the Curl Enhancing Smoothie from Shea Moisture because it makes it feel soft and full and just nice. It's been a product that I always go to. Even when I was in China, I asked for it to be sent to me. Thank you for sending me that. And yeah, it's just been a go-to product. Number three, third thing on my list, sticking with the whole Shea theme, I absolutely love Shea Butter. I didn't even think this was sitting right here, but of course it's sitting right on my dresser. This is a whole container of Shea Butter. I love Shea Butter. I use it as my pre-poo, it helps to detangle my hair. Um, it also helps sometimes if I don't feel like putting just that much product in my hair, I will do a twist out with just the shea butter, like put in a leave-in condition and then twist it out with the shea butter. I use the shea butter for my lock method. Sometimes my hair just needs something creamy and I just love it. I love products like that. I love my butters because again, my hair is thick. When I use the butters, I feel like it stays on for a longer time. And by the time it all dries through, I think it helps my style stay longer throughout the week rather than it get into Wednesday and that's it. It can make it a little bit further before it starts to look dry. This one is actually not a hair product. It's more so of a tool. I wanted to make this list just a little versatile and add things that are staples. So even if it's not a product, this is something that I use all the time since I got it. You should probably already know by now, I've done several videos with this brush. I've even done a Tested Tuesday review for this brush. This is the Felicia Leatherwood Detangler brush. I love this brush. People were all crazy about Denman brushes and I've always wondered why I just couldn't get with it because the bristles would break on my hair. <laughs> Simply that, the bristles would continue to break on my hair and I hated that. This one is, it, it, it's not going anywhere. It's just right in there. It's not going anywhere. So this is like my number one go-to brush at the moment. Another staple in my hair routine ever since I went natural, Jamaican black castor oil. I use Jamaican black castor oil in my pre-poo. I also use Jamaican black castor oil to seal my hair. It is a very thick oil. It is better if you do dilute it. But sometimes I just rub it on my hand and just rub it in the tip of my hair to keep it all together. I just love that oil. Um, I've also used it for my edges a millions of times. I wear a lot of protective hairstyling. Sometimes that's not that great for your edges. Jamaican black castor oil is able to repair that. I also use Jamaican black castor oil for my eyebrows. I use it for my lashes. These aren't my real lashes, but my real lashes are a decent length because I use it for my lashes. And yeah, I believe that is all for my top five. Again, Aussie Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie, Shea Butter, Felicia Leatherwood Detangler Brush, and Black Castor Oil. Thank you for sticking around to see my top five list. I am really curious to know what is your top five list. Comment down below of your top five go-to products that you just absolutely love. And if you have a shampoo recommendation for me, please leave it down below. P.S. I'm looking specifically for a shampoo that's good for 4C hair. 4C hair in mind something that will make my hair feel brittle. So 
I need I need the moisture. I need the creams. I need the thickness. I don't want anything light for my hair. So please let me know down below. Thank you for watching and do not forget to go check out Life with Shay. Check out her channel and check out her top five list. So let's keep this going in the comments down below and let's keep the party going over in her comments as well. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, do all that lovely stuff because I am trying to boost up my subscriptions. I got to put my hands down. I keep speaking with my hands. That's what I do on a regular, but yes. Good night. Good morning. Good afternoon. I'll see you next time. Bye. Uh, rise and shine. Gotta get the day started, sun. Beaming in my face as the blessings keep falling.